He claims that he was number one in sports radio. <laughs> I don't know his sports radio history, but he well, shot back at Grant. You can look so that up very easily. Grant wrote, come on, FP, or he's at Fighting Hydrant. You were a radio guy before you were a TV guy, and FP said, why my show was number one. I wasn't negative, and people love that. Not saying you guys are, but in general, it's a negative medium, and I'm done with this stupid thread. Have fun amongst yourselves. If you can't be negative about the team after watching them in the Cub series, you can't be, You have no credibility. You can't just talk about how good well, they were when they weren't. I think that, that home broadcast teams, I don't think that they're always giving you 100% of what they think. Because, okay. But, but okay. Well, they have, well, well, they have a script. They have to have to. Not that they have to. a script, but they're you know. Well, they have more, gui- they have guidelines. They're they're going to be more cheerleaders by nature. They have a we're company gonna line more, to tow. We're going to be more fair weather fan. If and, you're going great, we're going to praise you. If you're tanking or we're doing something yeah. that's unpopular, then we're going to crush you. Right. But you're, that's just being a fan. You're negative because it's warranted. Of course. That's just being. If we were in Boston, if but I don't Boston take it radio, personally. Hell of a positive we were covering the Patriots for all these years. Yeah, I bet you they're not doing that much (laughs) terrible negative radio in New England. Right. (laughs) Are you kidding me? It's probably pretty positive sports radio. Patriots. Probably pretty great. Probably pretty amazing. Like I said, it's just someone choosing to hear what he wants to hear. Now he does you say mean in terms something. of FP? Yes. No, but I think the general perception is that there's negativity in sports radio. It's a fair shot. Here's a little if more context. Is. A little more context. But you know what? If that's what, if that's what you're trying to listen for, if you're just pointing out the negatives, sports radio can be just as positive as negative. I agree, too. When you're, so. when you're on fire, we're going to praise you. Hey, we used to do a give it up segment. Here's a little more context about what FP said. And this is true because we don't have many relationships with players, but when you do build those relationships, you tend to cover a little bit differently. He says when you know every single player and you develop relationships with them and you know their wives and their kids and you live with them for seven months, staying in the same hotels and riding the same buses, I'm not up here to rip people. I'm up here to explain the game to people, but I will tell them why maybe something happened that was negative. Right. I'm a, for the record, I'm a huge FP fan. I think he kills it. He makes observations and things that I that, that I don't notice. He knows the game. Yeah, he's Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. That's why. Absolutely. I, I, that's why I'm not on the let's bash FP for this hot take. But if I get to know you personally, it's I harder. will not trash you. It's, I will not. If you like him. Yes, it's a human yeah. nature thing. And a lot of people around here do it's the harder, same thing. It's harder to do that. That's why we don't know anybody and yeah, don't go to any It's rooms. much better <laughs> to not know anyone. As soon as you, you know one, you it ruins about? it. It ruins the who, bit. Who are you talking about talking that about gets ourselves. to know somebody and they won't trash Everybody them? Everybody does it. Everybody that knows someone will protect that person. It's human nature. I, I've got a handful of people that I will always protect. You can't say a bad thing to me about Charlie Castley. I don't care what you say. I will defend that guy till he dies. You can't <laughs> say a bad thing to me about Brooks Like. I will Book-like. defend that guy Book-like. forever. <laughs> There yeah, but you can't guys, say he had a bad I, game, though. What? You, you can't say he had a bad performance. Yes, what did yes. he say? You can, of course. You can, you can, and you can say that play. Charlie made bad games. Yeah, I probably won't. Yeah, but you don't even you know can, it. But you I can. probably <laughs> would just let it be. Eric, you, you don't do even it. you don't even know FP. You don't have a relationship with him. I've had a little bit of interaction with him enough, that, and plus, I'm a fan of his work. I don't listen. I'm almost fifty. I'm gonna die soon. You guys want to fight people all the time? Fight. I'm not interested in it. I'm not interested want, in it. If you guys want, want to, go ahead. I like FP's work. I'm actually a fan of his. Honestly, I believe it. I don't think you get enough credit. I don't think most of us get enough credit. Prepping and keeping a compelling four-hour show going for multiple years in this cutthroat industry is incredibly difficult. And FP, a guy that's done this, I like him too, EB, but I think he's wrong for saying it. I disagree with his point. And I know that Lurch just hates Danny Ruye now that he said he doesn't like Skippy on the show, but most people don't hold grudges <laughs> like that. Well, you don't either. It's a common perception. Right. I kind of rolled my eyes and was able to, to go about my day. Uh, I was not terribly concerned about it. But that's the thing that I – I don't want to speak for Grant, but I think we fight all the time where you go, this guy had a good game or a bad game, and it's not necessarily a referendum. After a big enough sample, we can start talking negatively or positively. But – for example, and I sound like a jerk, and you guys will make fun of me, I'm sure, but I know Ryan Zimmerman very well, right? Mm-hmm. We, we bonded over a, a charity with something that we have in common. I can still say, hey, Zim's won for his first 13 to start the season. Of he's course. not He's not swinging it so well. Of course, but you're not going to be as vociferous, I don't think, in your criticism of Zim. I wouldn't be. Maybe you would be, and you have that objectivity. Well, but, but I don't. It, but again, it's, it's not – but you're, you're beating yourself up like you're, you're incapable of analysis. 
This, no, I've, I've given no analysis. I've provided information. Right, and I don't have a problem with you saying hitting, that. He's hitting 100 to start the yeah, season. Yeah, you and you shouldn't avoid it. But I'm not going to highlight a friend's <laughs> when they're struggling, probably. I'm not saying that you should. I'm just saying it's, everyone's different. Again, you know he's different than you. Yeah, exactly. It's just F- how F- I would He's different it. than Grant. Grant? Yeah. yeah. Well, first of all, JP's acting like we all ran around last night calling each other, going, did you see what FP said? <laughs> did you see what he said? I, I tweeted at him for this reason because – he worked in sports talk radio before he was the color commentator of the Washington Nationals. So if someone had said this who doesn't really have an understanding of sports talk radio, it wouldn't have even been a thing to me. If some fan, and a lot of people do, tweet us and say, you guys are very negative. First of all, we're not. We're reacting to what's happening. When the Redskins win, we're having Bashad Breeland Day. When they lose, we say that they suck. That's our job. We get to be honest in this right. medium. We're more honest in this medium than pretty much any other medium In sports broadcasting, I take a lot of pride in that. We're allowed to be. So that was number one was, first, I I disagree with the word negative. I think we are accurate, generally speaking. 